I'm Kay McKee, Founder and Executive Director of A Spacious Place, Inc. A Spacious Place believes in the empowering, transformative potential of the creative process, first for the individual and through the individual for society. We offer opportunities for creative expression to persons who are socially vulnerable due to age, language, vocation, race, ethnicity, sexuality and or gender, as well as persons with special physical, economic, developmental, spiritual, or psychological needs. Everybody matters. Everybody. Therefore, we offer persons opportunities through their own creative process to know their worth and thus to live deep and productive lives. Each person in one way or another is creative. Each person has something unique to offer the world. Creative exploration and expression invites persons not only to find their voices, but also to use them. What then exactly does a spacious place do? The newspaper questions, who, what, where, when, why, and how, will help us depict a spacious place's services. The simple figure we fondly call the spacious dude has dressed up as a chef to demonstrate our services. The dude holds a plate to be served to our target population, the socially vulnerable. The domed serving dish further defines this term, who. We serve persons who are socially vulnerable for numerous reasons. Age, persons at extreme ends of the life cycle, the young and the elderly. Language, persons whose primary communication mode is often, at least in the central Texas area, termed a foreign language. Vocation, persons whose choice of work lacks prestige or recognition, such is the case for many artists. Sexuality, gender, persons of marginalized genders and or sexual orientations, including gay, lesbian, transsexual, transgender, bisexual, and questioning. Physically, persons with movement restrictions, such as persons confined to wheelchairs or beds, persons with sensory restrictions, as well as persons with chronic and or terminal illness. Economically, persons with limited or no income. This includes children who of developmental necessity must depend financially on others. Developmentally, persons with mental challenges due either to congenital factors or to injury. Spiritually, persons who need hope and love. Racially, ethnically, persons of minority races and or ethnicities. Psychologically, persons in transition and persons who have been traumatized. What? The diagram depicts direct services a spacious place has historically or presently rendered to the socially vulnerable. The colors depict which who categories each offering serves. Note that most or all of these offerings serve populations who are socially vulnerable due to gender, sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, as well as those who are spiritually and economically vulnerable. Note also that each what category also possesses one or more icons. I will explain the icons in a moment. The second what graph depicts our support services, those services that provide resources that make our service to our target population possible. They are our farmer's market, supplying what we need to prepare for and serve the socially vulnerable. The blue-rimmed baskets are support service only. The red-rimmed baskets provide support and also directly serve members of our target population. For example, Persons who pay a fee for a course or who become a Spacious Place members make it possible for us to provide scholarships to persons who are economically vulnerable. Where and when? We follow the need. Sometimes the need takes us to low-income housing or to a campsite or to a group home. We call these offerings tailgate offerings because we load our tailgates with art supplies and head out to where we are needed, hence the truck tailgate icon. Sometimes the need is met on site at present at Journey IFC, the church that served as our umbrella organization until we received our 501c3 status, or in our home. We hope in time to rent or build a space so we can provide after-school care, a summer-long day camping program, and other housed arts offerings. The building icon represents on-site offerings. Sometimes the need is best served online. Persons can post creative writings on our website and we now offer online courses as well. The monitor keyboard icon represents our online offerings. Let's look again at the what diagram. Each icon represents the way or ways we deliver our services to each group. How? 
A spacious place operate, operates using what we call playground principles. The term playground principles indicates our intention to provide a safe, richly prepared environment that invites participants into creative play. A spacious place's playground principles represent a compilation of wisdom from the fields of education, pastoral care, spiritual direction, and even global economics. Because each principle aims toward a single goal, that of respecting and nurturing the human soul, you will note some overlap between the principles. The icon for each principle re represents its key concept. Why? Because everybody matters, and because we hope to create a space in which each participant can recognize his or her worth, a place where everyone's autograph is sought. The very act of creation carries enorm enormous potential for empowerment, for transformation, for healing, and for growth. And creating alongside others provides opportunities to serve and to be served. Both are basic human needs. And to develop relationships with other persons and with the something or someone that awakens human creativity. While the Spacious Place is a Christian organization, we have no need to convince persons to believe in certain ways about God. Instead, we invite persons to connect with their creator, God, higher power, muse, their creative process, trusting God to meet each person at the place of his, her openness and need. A spacious place at your service.